Hello, fidget toy enthusiasts. So today, I just decided to film a fun little extra, uh, I guess, episode. Um, I have two things I want to show you. The first one is this guy. It's a fidget spinner. Woo! Now, what makes this one cool is it looks like a six shooter and just in case you think that wasn't enough boom comes with bullets you can load it up and these are pretty heavy I'm pretty sure the spinner itself is uh, machined out of aluminum it's very light but these bullets they feel like brass and you can just load these up and give it some weight And it has really good action. Now I know some of you are like, fidget spinners, that's old news. But in my line of work, fidget spinners are a very helpful tool. Now, this particular one, though, I bought for me. I will not be taking this to any schools. Uh, I mean, for obvious reasons. I have different ones for that. But this one I just thought was cool because there's a, uh, a playful element to it. You can spin it and it spins for a while and then you can take these out and watch my hand if you just take one out then you get a it's all lumpy but you take out the opposite side to even things up and we're smooth again take another one out and we're lumpy again but this is just a fun little fidget spinner I think it was like 10, 10 bucks maybe. Um, oh, 14. It was 14 bucks. Uh, well worth it to me if you like fidget spinners. I think this is one of the coolest ones I've ever seen. Just for the fact that it's, it's quiet. It feels nice. It spins really well. And you can take these out. It's just cool. I know a lot of you are knife enthusiasts, and that also pairs well with uh, firearms enthusiasts, myself included, so that's why I decided to check this one out. It was just pretty cool. But anyway, let's... Oh, wait, you know what? Let's do this. Now, for the thing I really wanted to show. This. Oh. This is the Three Coil Design Studio, Studios Puna Mini Multi-Tool. And this one is 50 bucks. And some of you are gonna be like, that's not worth the money, but wait till you see it. It comes in this cool hard case. It looks like a gun case, but you know, much smaller. But we open this bad boy and inside at that look at that that is just work of art but it comes in pieces and what you do is you just take some out I have big fingers so it's a bit harder here's the uh, I guess receiver and this is also bottle opener and then these magazines they pop in but they're also very tiny little, this is a Phillips screwdriver. Let's see if we can, come on, come on now. There you go, Phillips screwdriver. This one is the flathead. But you can just pop that in there when you wanna use it. Well, well, we'll show that in a second. And this is the knife part. This is a number 11 razor blade. But what you do, there's a little hook here, a little catch and a hole right there. You just line it up right there and snap it in. And that's how you store the knife blade. You can see it right here. But there's no danger of cutting yourself whatsoever. 
And then here is the barrel. And you can just thread that in there. I already have one in there. And that's what it looks like all built nice and fun. And the barrel is actually the tool that you would use to change the razor blade. You just undo these two screws right here when it's out. It actually does not fit these ones. So you're going to need something different if you want to completely disassemble. Johnny Five, disassemble. Anyway, when you want to open it, you kind of squeeze the handle right here. But what I learned, oh, finally stopped. I don't know how long that was. But what I learned is don't hold it like this. I was like, why isn't it opening? I can't figure it out. You got to hold the bottom here and squeeze or just hold it like this. And it opens right up. And then you just cut and it. You know, it's as, it's as sharp as it is. Well, let's see. Here's something I did for work. If someone gave me a million dollars. It's, it's a razor blade. It's going to be sharp. If you get a dull razor blade, I would send it back. And then when you're done cutting, snap it in there. Put the barrel on there. And then you just have yourself just a really cool fidget tool. Oh, and when you want to use the screwdriver, take the magazine out, flip it around, and then however you want to do it. It locks in both ways. Yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little video showcasing this because this is just just a really fun little fidget toy. And it, it comes with extra razor blades. You get four more. It comes on top of this, but I find that the case closes better when you take it and put it behind this. And, you know, each little section here has its own little cutout. Make sure when you open it, you keep your finger out. But the back of the blade's here, so there's really no danger of cutting yourself unless you do it absolutely wrong, which I'm sure one day I will find that way. And then it just fits right in there, nice and snug. Everything's tucked in. Close it up, and boom. Let, let's go, yay! Got my little suitcase. I don't know why I'm English all of a sudden, but anyway. Three Coil Design Studios is called the Puna Mini Multi Tool. 50 bucks. I bought mine on Knife Center. I just threw it in my cart with a bunch of other stuff just because, you know, I had to have it. It just looks cool. And the case is really nice. This is a sturdy case. It's as, it's as sturdy as you can get. I mean, they really went above and beyond packaging this thing. It's just fantastic. This is a little rubberized thing here. I would guess that maybe this case is waterproof. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think it, it might be, but I don't know. I don't try it. But yeah, anyway, this was just a cool tool, cool little fidget spinner. It's a shame that uh, they got overused because in my line of work they actually come in quite handy. And uh, I, th I love the fact that there's all kinds of different styles. And then this one was just awesome. I love this one. Nice and smooth. But anyway, that's all I got for you today. So thank you for checking this out. And uh, I'll catch you next time.